Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to make bases like the ones in the track Tab Ho by TC but is the AMC remix. So this is the original track and this is the bass we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. Also, share this with a producer friend who you think would appreciate having this tutorial because that helps us grow the channel a lot. Also, if you want to get access to a lot of free samples, presets and masterclasses for free, you can become a member of Free Access. The link is in the description below. So with all of that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized serum. We're going to be playing a sustained F and we're going to turn on the sub and oscillator P. So now to get that screechiness in the sound, we're going to use FM. So we're going to bring the level of fossil B all the way down because we're going to use this as a modulator and we're going to set FM from B on oscillator A because it's going to work as a carrier. So the more we boost the FM, the more the harmonics go up. And also if we play with the octave of oscillator B, it creates a change too. So the setting that we're going to use is using three octaves up and bringing the FM down. Something like that. Now this will give us the right pitch and tone, but we still need to move the format of the sound. So for that we're going to use a sync warp mode. And we're going to fine tune this knob. Right here it sounds good. Now let's go to basic shapes and let's try to experiment with the different waveforms. In this case I like this saw width. Let's also experiment on the oscillator A. Looks like the saw wave is the best one. Next we're going to map an LFO into a level of oscillator A. And we're going to replicate the movement. So we need to move the rate up and change this LFO. Now let's turn on the noise, map this into a level of the noise. And now let's go into the effects and turn on the distortion. Nice. Let's turn on the hyper. And then let's go back into the oscillator tab and let's bring the sub a bit lower. You can experiment with that level depending on the mix and the context of your track. You can also experiment with the sync. In this case, we're going to leave it like that because it's the one that is the most like the original track that we're trying to replicate. We're going to turn on the compressor, we're going to set our multiband. And then we're going to boost this up here. Let's bring the master down. There you go. And now let's add an EQ and let's use this EQ to remove unnecessary frequencies. Like that and let's boost the ones we like. There you go. Now this is sit inside of Serum to create a similar sound. Now let me show you how you can create your own original version of this. So the first thing will be to move the sync. And experiment maybe with the semitones. Or the octave. That's actually very similar. <laughs> I like this. You can also experiment with the FM. And you can try to change the mix of the sub and this high pitch layer when going through the distortion. You can also modulate the sync maybe. Let's make this slower and less intense. I really like that. Maybe you can create a sequence using the sync. That's pretty nice. 
As you can see, you can use this key parameters such as the FM, the sync, the octave, and the amount of sub going into the distortion to create different sounds. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, you can use two EQs with bells like this to create a form and movement. And then maybe let's map this to go to the same rate as the other LFO. And now we created our own original sound from learning different techniques from the AMC sound. Because remember, these videos are for you to learn how to create your own sounds by learning how to create the sounds that the pros make and then turning those presets into your own. So that's gonna be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you wanna get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.